ladies and gentlemen, Michael B is here, and he said he's going to stay for the whole thing. And I was really uh, we'll, nice. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. He's gonna ride it out. It's uh, he's, two in the morning. He's used to staying up till eight, so he doesn't have a. He doesn't. Really two thirty in the morning, actually. Two two thirty. It's two two thirty. Two thirty in the morning. He's gotta go to the dentist soon. We're playing Super Fritz eighty eight's deck here. Uh, this is a Niv Mizzet Fires of Invention deck. We got an Angrass Reborn, Justice Strike, which I love. Four Gross Spirals, four Chromatic Lanterns, three Deafening Clarions, two Oath of Oath of Kaya's, three Tarifis. And one knight, four fires, one Tamiyo, one Tulsmere, four Niv Mizzet, one time wipe, one escape, one casualties, one Garrick, or Grookey, as Katie would say, and two Dream Trawlers. And this is our fancy mana base. I'm not even going to go over it right now, to be honest with you. How many lands? Gateway Plaza. Ugh, mm. not, I don't know not a fan. I don't, I, I'm not a fan. It's not worth it. It's not. I agree. I agree. I think it's. I'm gonna play it though. We're gonna test it out. So, we got sideboard. We got one revoke, two agonizing remorse, one d spark. In case you get too sparked, one angress rampage, two assassins trophy, one justice strike, one ashiok, one on mortigo, one deafening clarion, two shifty boys, one chandra, and one ethereal absolution. This sideboard's interesting because it strikes me as like a fey wishboard, but I think the only reason is because you want to stick all these in and still have a, a shot of hitting them off and even visit. So, you gotta cast your duders. Don't talk about my yeah, duders. It's a double tap land. You have to tap it and a land. Yeah, it's Ugh. it's really, it hurts me. It's such a temple. It hurts sweat. us. All right, I'm ready. Wait, what happened? Cancel, cancel. Wow. All right, didn't even fucking. I didn't even have one sec. What the Sparky? Oh god. Is that a bot? Yes. See you, again soon, you won't. You'll never see me again. You'll never see me again. Well, you just bump me in the butt. All right, let's try to play a match that's not a bot match. Standard ranked, right? Or traditional standard ranked. Look, the last deck I played was also a Super Fritz deck. Nice. This did conclude the Mike B special hour. Keep it going. I was asking people to ask me questions. What was that? What was that? Olive Garden dressing? Apparently, Olive Garden makes a Parm Ranch, like in the store. Yeah, it's apparently. Why do they make a dressing in the store that they don't actually have in the restaurants? Yeah, I've heard of it before, though. I've never tried it, but that seems weird to me. Yeah, it's true. Going to Vegas right now would not be ideal. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to do anything. Dude, I would kill for some fucking breadsticks and some all-you-can-eat salad right now. I would murder a dude in the app and the actual. Man. Nope. No, we're back. Did you guys see that? Did that guy? Did that happen in your end or just my end? Wow, this guy's just name is just Alex. That's wild. Mike B, do you think you and Frank should go to Japan with me in the future? Uh, I'll keep this. I mean, it sounds cool, but it involves a lot of cash moon. Did you ever think of advancing your position in life so that you could afford things that are nice? Maybe one day. Maybe one day you'll think about it. Maybe one day you'll do it. Or maybe one day you can afford those things. All of the above. God, it's so hard to have serious conversations with you sometimes. Well, I can't. The thing is, to advance my life, I probably need to go back to school. And I can't do that until I... Just have your fucking... Just have your your, your sugar daddy, Kerwit, give, pay for your college education. <laughs> yeah. In theory... He's like, Mike, you need a college education? He'll fucking PayPal it right now. He'll PayPal well, you one tonight. Just... Uh, in theory, once I get my loans out of default, which will take, I don't know, like a year, then I can go back to school. <laughs> oh, my. Wow. I'm not going to answer that question in the off chance he'd do it. Yeah. Kerr's a dangerous dude. Don't tempt him or else he, uh, well, you know. Yep, you got it. How come there's no Euro in this deck? Is there Euro in the deck? I feel like one euro in this deck is really what you want. How do you pay for your things if you don't have any euros? Yeah, euro seems good. I'm already making changes. I'm already tweaking this bad boy. You can't boy. escape him though, right? Why not? Because it's the fires. Is escape casting? But even if it's not, what what do you think fires does? It only lets you cast spells equal to your lands. 
You right? could. You could still. You could do whatever you like, Michael. So fires can like check the graveyard and do that. It can check whatever you like, Michael. Look, you can only cast spells during your turn. That's it. You can still play. You can still pay for things. Bro, I would totally destroy you right now, or like a shawarma. That does sound good. I my only the only food I ate today was at four p.m. and it was uh some some uh pad cu, and it was actually amazing. But wow, Kurt, I'm just, probably going to Del Taco. Frank, after just this. check DoorDash. No salad and breadsticks <laughs> places open. Yeah, the odds of any place is being open, pretty low, my dude. Dude, can you imagine going to Sweet Tomatoes? Oh god, I would crush some sweet tomatoes. I had a less steak for dinner with a side of stewed tomatoes and stuffing. It's pretty good. That sounds like that sounds like fake news. We got this thing. I even post it on the internet, you son of a bitch. Are you talking to me like that? Yeah. That's right. Buddy. Oh, suck a plane, a walker. You know, I'll choose my opponent, not myself. That's really where I'm at right now. Oh. I choose you to die. Oh, God. Can we go over how many times I, either I have myself or I've seen other people ignore the top ability of Chandra? Or that Tamiyo, rather? I constantly forget it, it does a thing. That's unreal. I hate the static abilities on Planeswalkers. I think they are a net negative to the game. Because they got people... <laughs> Guys, tonight is not my night. <laughs> Seek and find. Yep. I would like a smoked brisket with a side of cream mashed potatoes and barbecue baked beans. Good. Did you know Battlesphere is a mirror? I actually didn't know that. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, all the static abilities all seem very overpowered. You think? Yes. Wow, their hand is Hydroid Crassus Nissa. Okay, I'm just gonna go to the next game. Oh, oh. All right, let's double these up. Let's see what we got here. The spark seems great. The spark, the spark. It's like, it's like the shifting cyclops. Cyclops, shifting ceratops seems good. Uh, I don't think Knight of Autumn is going to really s Deafening Clarion. Actually, Deafening Clarion is not terrible because they do have... If they want to make like a bunch of... Uh, here he goes. Here he goes. He's, he's having a good time. Michael Ceratops? <laughs> I see what you did there. Oh, I see what you did there. Uh, time wipe seems kind of meh. I feel like that dude hasn't been in a movie in a while. Who, Michael Ceratops? Michael, yeah. that, that's a dinosaur. That doesn't mean he can't act. You know, That's I can't. Dinosaurist. You're not wrong. See, look at this. Look at this nonsense. Those are some pretty good displays. You think I'm bad, man? Somebody likes Superman a lot. You think? Jesus, it gets worse. God, it's not stopping. It's, it's unreal. All right, we'll keep this seven with this gateway plaza, my dude. All right, here we go. Super Fritz, we're going to find out. We're going to find out if it's all it's cracked up to be, my dude. I think it'll be okay in this matchup. I think it'll be okay. Because it's slow. Shorty gets slow, slow, slow. Throw a Carol Baskin in the deck. Good for murdering things. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, good lord. I will pay one. It isn't much, but it's honest work. Oh, god. Michael, get low, low, low. You know you're just taking the Tefri or the Chromatic Lantern. Yep, there you go. Here comes Michael B. Here comes Michael B. Right down Michael B. Lane. Ever seen the movie Brightburn? No. Nope. 
I don't know what it is. It's like the reverse Superman movie where he's like, uh... Oh, he's like an evil. He's like an evil, like he's yeah. like a demon Superman. A super demon! I don't know if it was any good, but it had too it had too much of a horror theme feel to it. Here comes Brasco, here comes Brasco. Yep. Cool story, bro. Super Fritz is not a fan of it. No, sir, I don't like it. Man, your passages are so fabled. Buddy, you don't even know, man. Do you know? Why aren't there zombie westerns? I don't even know what that would be. Kerwit, you have the power to make it. Yeah, instead of paying for Mike's college, just make a zombie western. I wouldn't fault you for it. I would not either. Uh, let's get a green. Beautiful. Let's get a swamp. Beautiful. Oh, that's a good one. That's what father likes. Whoop, 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 whoop. Boop, 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 boop. Enter tapped. Enter tapped. Muggle B, that's what father The likes. good, the bad, and the undead. That's pretty good, actually. So next time we get to go fires a dream trawler. One, two, three, four, five, six. And cast Teferi. That seems good. That is definitely what father likes. You were right. Oh, wee Rick. You guys a little wee Rick? Well, that's less enjoyable for father. But father still has all these, so. We got white, white. We need a red source. We got a ready boy. Can I get a mountain? Daddy needs a mountain to live in the garbage. Daddy needs a mountain. Oh, you can only cast two spells a turn, right? Yeah. Okay. Well. Butter my bliskets. I think we're just playing this guy then. And I will just lose the rest, I guess. I mean, we either play Dream Trawler or we play the other two, and I think Dream Trawler is just a stronger card on this board. One, two, three, four. They have seven mana, so they could harass us for five. We have just a strike for it. Oh, we could have played fires first. Mm. Yeah, we could have played fires first. Oh, God. That was cool. That was cool the way they had the exact card they needed. Yeah, and then I drew my fourth Fabled Passage. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that's a good. That, I'm, that was that was fun. If only hexproof affected making a sacrifice. Well, is that what you really want in this world? No. I just want to not feel like they have everything they need to fucking destroy us every single game. Should have played Tamio. Touche. Touche. I hear she does do that. Yeah, we could have played Fires first. Let's... Yep. Uh. I'm definitely not going to be upset when all these cards rotate. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be upset when War of the Spark is not a set that's legal in, in any playable format because it's just the most miserable format I've. I mean, we can keep that for, like, Euro or, like, um, uh, Hydrid Crests if they draw it, but I really, like, 
you know, I'm not really a... Yep, there you go. And that's the end. All right. Well, as long as all the Teferis in the new set are absolutely mediocre, um, unlike every single Teferi that's been legal for the past two years, I think we'll be fine. But what is this thing on the homepage? We'll see. What is this stupid, like, cube? How many fucking hands are... Oh, my God. Oh, it's the arena cube sealed. Sure. Why does it say resume? Wait, what? Oh, I never claimed my prizes from this, I guess. Good thing I got my rigging runner and my jungle creeper. Staples. Wizards of the Coast, still giving unplayable chaff to players who play competitively. Never change, Wizards. Hmm. The problem is I don't think we're like I don't think we have enough information like that. I think that deck is just probably like the one of the best decks in the farm, right? Because it's literally just playing it's just constantly playing all the best cards like Nissa, Hydroid Crassus, Euro, Liliana, like I mean it's hard to really gauge like how the deck performs outside of just playing against that stupid Sultai list that's miserable. So um, the reason I dislike standard, I, this, the reason I love standard in the first month and a half that a new set is legal is because of the diversity. And the reason I hate standard anytime after that month and a half is because of the lack of diversity. Once people figure out the format, it becomes insanely less fun for me. Yeah, it just basically boils down to like three moves. Yeah, which, decks. which of the three decks am I going to be playing against and which do I have to play to do any, any sort of, to have any sort of success whatsoever. It's pretty rare, and then there's a long, diverse format. A long, diverse? Yeah. I want a format with a long, diverse. Yeah, Super Fits, I'm actually thinking it is. Like, the only thing you can... It's very rare you're going to make them sacrifice a cre uh, an artifact. And I think, like, sacking a creature is not great because it's just not going to hit. Like, as a removal spell, like, I'd rather just have, like, Murderous Rider, but... Obviously, it, this isn't a great deck for Murderous Rider because you don't get to, uh... It's double black and you can never hit it off of, like, Niv-Mizzet, obviously. Oh, we could play Nickel Bolas instead. See, now you're, now you're talking. Now you're talking with gaze. Auto-pay. Nice. Okay. I want a Michael B with a long jacket. Doesn't make any sense. Hanged Executioner. That's fascinating. Hmm. Disgusting! It's disgusting! I'm just gonna get rid of it. And we get to go back to 21. What a time to be alive. You're checking, man. Your mom can't text you this late. She's asleep. It's like 5 a.m., man. I get other notifications. Oh, yeah? Man. Name one. It was a Twitch notification. Oh, was it? Yeah. Did it make you Twitch? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm freaking out. Does this deck have counter spells? I don't even know what, what we're playing against here. Hanged spirit dot deck over here. Are there even good counter spells to get rid of Teferi? Like, I guess there are. What? The hell is that thing? Exactly. Apparently, it countered your spell. Apparently it did. What is even happening right now? Is this a deck? This is a weird concoction of nonsense right here. Hey, 
end that turn. I think I'm dying. Why? Just Let's get some caffeine, man. Alright, Deafening Clarion are really nice here. I would also accept a time wipe. Would you say it's more than a feeling? Yeah. The problem with with Niv Mizzet or Nicol Bolas is that we can't hit it off of uh, Niv Mizzet either. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. All right. Whip, 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 whip. Oh, that's actually that's actually solid. What would you say it's solid as? Solid as a rock. Let me guess. Last card is a negate. Oh, we got him. Got him. We can't? No, because it's, it's, it's three colors, not two colors. Okay. Okay, man. Are you doing okay? You got a little itch on your head? Yeah. Is your head okay? I think so. What if it's not? Can you can you would you tell me? Probably. I don't believe you. I think you're a, I think you're a rat bastard. Uh let's choose Niv Mizzet. To the library. Where you at, Niv? Oh, you're at the top. Dang it, Niv Mizgoose. Yeah, I don't care. Just put him in the graveyard. Just stop it. It's gonna be top cards in him, is it? <sighs> Some people ask me, they're like, what's it like? And I'm like, it's something, man. It's a real wild world we live in. It's your curse. And I'll cry if I want to. Interesting. Bring! That was brazen. They see me brazen. I'm brazen. Brazen. Braze, 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 brazen. It's your boy. Uh, I'll take these four. Put them in my hand. This is where they concede. I mean, I hate going through all this and being like, I'm going to get this card back when they're just going to concede, you know? I think you will find my oh, Garrick the Huntsman? I'll just get that next turn. Get a, I, just, I didn't get escape because we just have so many cards as is. Oh, no. How much does it cost? Four and you got three? Oh, yeah, we get a turn. I'm going to definitely clear and wipe this board, and then we're going to give this dude a life Linkos. You like a good life Linkos? Pretty good. Uh, alternate cast. Wop wop. I'll choose both modes. Huh. Well. I'm going to get it back. I'm going to choose both modes. And then I'm a gain. Six Lufos. He did it again. He did it again. Got him. Okay. Now, 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 now that we're dead. Solid as a rock. Why did you get this song stuck in my head, dude? Because it's epic. Yeah, I don't see there's any way they can win, right? Oh, what up, Curvaceous Kitty, who sometimes shows up in the stream sometimes? Sometimes? Ethereal Absolution seems fantastic here. Those are my like, what does that do? Uh-huh. Well, like... <laughs> yep. That seems pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Take an Angrath Justice Strike. 
and bring the other Deafening Clarion. Which I think I did. I think Chandra's good here. Uh, casualties, probably not that great. Uh, uh. Disgusting! Michael, you're disgusting. Did you know that? Yes. Did you really? Yeah. What's that one? This is the first parents are running. I already have it, but it's 9.2 for... It's pretty good. You're looking for a little upgrade? No, not even a little bit. I'm looking for Fantastic Four 49, but this is Fantastic Four 65. What's your grade now? It's like seven, maybe? That ain't bad. Yeah, I don't care. I think it's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the same. Oh, what up, Remaker? Oh, it's Michael's dad. Where? Nobody knows. I think we should have failed passage first turn. Pro red. God damn. If we can just land this ethereal absolution, like the game is just over, right? Yeah, that was rough. Seems decent. Did you get a haircut? I did. I did. I got it today. Did you get it yesterday? I did actually. That's or that's the day before. No. Day before that. Yes. Nice. I got one every day. Cool. It was cool. Maybe I should good... have left up his little county spell. Oh Jesus. Wait, how does that work? Uh well, you may pay a, a white and tap four creatures instead of paying its cost. Oh. Uh Utah is not all shut down yet, no. And also, um Two other creatures are in I was the only door. person in the store. So How do you beat that card? You kill it, Michael. With? With murder, Michael. You got murder in here? It's murder! You know that song? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yeah, man, that's cool. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's not good. It's definitely not good. Let's... What do we want to hit here? That's alternate cost. Let's, Let's find a time wipe. Oh! Boo, 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 boo. Damn, boy! Oh. Oh, you're just dead. Cool. What was that card? Sweet. Another fucking War of the Spark hit. Because that's cool. Wow, the Master of the Volume is real low on this. <laughs> Jesus. I have to go now. Alright, man. Peace out. Yeah. Good luck staying up till 4 a.m. anyway. 10 a.m. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. 5 a.m. My cable is right now. Capable bull? Capable Man, you ain't solid as a rock. <sighs> Your mom's not here. <laughs> wow. Is that a reference to the erection that she gives you? Yes. That's wild, man. Wow, we hit the one time, time wipe in the deck and they still end up luck sacking into the not even luck they could have had it I mean obviously but that's still just amazing I'll just deal you 19 you goodbye Michael goodbye I know that's kosher yeah you're good kosher as a rock what? huh? what? Kosher rock? yeah you heard me <laughs> excuse me 
Well, this hand is much slower, so I'm kind of okay with that. Give me the b balls, free my soul. I wanna get along. Time would have only killed the seven seven anyway. Wait, why? Put on top, decline. It gives other flyers indestructible? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well. Here we go. Oh, that's not what we want to do. We want to play fires and then play this for free. But... I guess this is actually still fine, because this is one of the few ways to kill this thing, so. Yeah, and we still have Tulsmere for next turn. I guess that's actually fine. Yeah, Tulsmere killing this thing is... Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, man, that's bad, because we don't have another... I'll protect you. I guess we can just Niv here, huh? We're not going to hit lands, though. I'm just going to play Tulsmere here. Like, I'd rather get their, 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 uh, what's it called? Their, lead, their lord off the board while we can. Because then, like, if they have any answer for Niv, like, we don't need cards. We have things to do right now. And I just want to hit a land so I can go fires Niv. Lord off the board. Get that lord off the board. Guys, I'm going to... Uh... I'm going to Del Taco so hard after this. Why can't we hit lands here? I don't want to play fires when we can't play a nib for free, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't have counter spells, right? Like, do we care about just bouncing this token? Uh, yes, because it's, you still get to play Niv Mizzet off of the Chromatic Lantern, which I think is fine. Yeah, I just want to hit... Um, yeah, that's all I wanted, actually. That's perfect. Uh, enters tapped, fires, into Niv. Yep, that's what we wanted. Uh, one Teferi, one Deafening, one Grow Spiral. I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away. Oh, they did nothing. They did nothing. Nothing. Tulsmere with Garrick is Chef's Kiss. Oh, because he made because of the wolves. I mean, I guess we could just cast Chandra with mana. I think that's still fine. Yeah, giving you all the colors is super relevant, because if you don't have fires, you still want a way to cast this guy. Okay. I mean, I assume they're going to go block, block. Oh, that's interesting. So you're taking six? 
Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul. I hope they try to counter it. God, they always try to counter it. It's wonderful. Ah. Oh. Resolve. Take action. You got it. Let's slow this down. Let's try this. Let's try this. Got him. Also forgot fire doesn't stop you from casting normally. Yeah, you can just pay the mana. <coughs> so if I have like four lands and, and two chromatic lanterns, I can still play uh, six drops. Um, What if we take a... Hmm. Three sacred foundries, huh? Is there any way faster way to do this, like to get to the gold carts? What if I click up here? Uh, does not look like it. This? No. Okay. Oh, good. I'm at the beginning again. Click the gold. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, it just gives you five colors. And I feel like we should have at least one Kenrith in here. I mean, you can't hit it off Niv Mizza, but it's just very, very powerful on its own. Got a gun. Uncl if I unclick all the other ones? Oh, that's interesting. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess that. Okay. That, all right. That does it, I guess. It's not. Man, that's a. What a. What a thing. Look at that weird Sphinx. I've never even seen that token. Very fee. Yep, Dream Trawler is good. I kinda like I kinda like to spark in the main deck instead of instead of Angrass Rampage. I think it takes care of like most of the things you want to take care of. I mean it takes care of a lot of planeswalkers that are really problematic. Uh I wonder if one Kunoros is actually decent instead of like one Deafening Clarion. That's a pretty cool dude. I wish Mortify hit Planeswalkers. That'd be cool. I don't mind Seraph of the Scales. I do like Thought Erasure, but I don't know if we want to tweak the whole mana base to support it. I do think we can take out one Sacred Foundry and put one Godless Shrine, though. Because we don't have any. And actually, it should be right here. Somewhere. Bingo. Uh, Thief of Sanity. Always, always a pleasure. Oh, new Ashiok. That's interesting. I almost feel like Knight of Autumn is better on the sideboard right now because it doesn't... I don't know if there's enough targets in the, in, in the main deck of standard decks. But I wouldn't mind, like, one... One Ashiok. Does that do anything, though? I don't know if that's good enough. I may have to reevaluate due to being a pet card. Atris is kind of cool. How many lands we got in here, Super Fritz? 25? Okay, I feel comfortable with that. Put one Fae of... I do like one Fae of Wishes, actually. 
I want to maximize our hits, though, with Niv-Mizzet, though, because that's the whole point of the deck. You just want to play Bolas because you're a maniac. What if we put the other Niv-Mizzet? What if we just have double Niv-Mizzets? What a big money grip. I mean, you're not right, buddy. I know it. I know it. I also don't hate, like, the Royal Scions for, like, the draw discard, but the other ability is not great. I'm definitely tempted to play one Niv Mizzet here. We're never going to be able to. Ca oh, actually, we can cast it with pretty easily with Chromatic Lantern. Huh. Oh, let's put one Euro. Well, like, I think we take out Night of Autumn, put it in the sideboard for now, and put in, like, at least one Euro. Um, what does four drop Vraska sacrifice, though? Hmm. I feel like we're only using it as, like, Abrupt Decay. Is that good enough? I don't know. Looking at the cards of Mythic Spoiler all at once is overwhelming. So, I, dude, I agree with you. I don't even look anymore because there's just too much. I feel like they put out too much every day. Like, every day if I had, like... Do you remember back in the day, like, they would put, like, one spoiler in this uh, Mothership article, one in this Mothership article, and then one site gets a gets a spoiler. And I'm like, oh, cool, there were three or four cards that went up today. I, I can look at them all. Now it's, like... I can, I, like, there's 14 new cards that go up every day, three times a day. And I'm just like, I can't keep up with this. I'll just look at it all at once when it's all out. Like, I can't even enjoy it, really. Oh, what about Bedevil? We'd have to mess up the mana a little bit, but... I think Bedevil is just a better Angrass Rampage, right? I also think we can cut one Deafening Clarion. Wait, what? No, go on the sideboard. We'll put one Bedevil in here. Well, another Black Source, right? I think we're going to cut one of the Fabled Passages and put in a Blood Crypt. Maybe. I don't like Blood Crypt because it doesn't cast Gross Spiral. We'll just add another Watery Grave. I think that's probably better because you want to be able to you want to be able to Gross Spiral. The thing is, like, you want you're going to have like Fires or you're going to have Chromatic Lantern online most of the time. Hey, buddy, you're the one putting Casualties of War in here as a two of. Don't talk to me about... Don't talk to me about Double Black. Got him. See how wrecked he got? Wait, how come... Okay, never mind. I was like, how come mine isn't all... Sweet like that? How come mine isn't a sweetie boy? You show up and you're all like, hey, cut one of the Double Black cards. And I was like, you know what? I'll do it for you, buddy, but... I love Tolsmere. I think it's such a good card. <laughs> Look at this idiot. Sorry, my dude. What about one Bioessence Hydra? How can that be wrong? If Bioessence Hydra is wrong, dude, I don't want to be right. I think that's okay. Do you want one Hydroid Crassus? No, because it's not great with fires. All right, what do we got here? Do we do we not need any of these things? Chandra's great. The Earl Absolution was actually pretty good there. Um, I don't know if Ashiok is that necessary. And eh, I can just take out the Angrass Rampage too as well. All right, let's try it. Let's see if this makes a difference.
One Golos? I don't... Mm, I don't mind that. And you can actually activate it, too. Get a load of Zaxor over here. Coming in hot with the Golos tech. Um, I'll keep this, even though the Gala Shrine does make it awkward. But, like, so would Sacred Foundry, so... It's not like... It's not like it's my fault. Yeah, I do like Golos. I think it's just a one of. Okay. Not bad. Oh good, another salt tide deck. What a fancy little boy. Right on schedule. Stop, don't worry. I got this. Yep. I actually think you want more Justice Strikes. Justice Strikes seems great against, like, everything. Let's get a green source here. It seems like the best bet. Play Fires. Play Euro. Hmm. The problem is if we play Gateway Plaza... We can't put Gateway Plaza into play, otherwise we have to sacrifice it, unfortunately. So I actually like Lantern here, and then next turn we can play Oro as our land, put Gateway Plaza into play, and then play niv it afterwards. Yeah, that seems better. So I guess we're going to 8 here. Thanking, thankfully this dude is not legendary. Yep. Yep. Like you do. Actually, no, we just play this as our land. Auto pay. Plane of Mizzet with alternate cost. Uh, ooh, let's get B Spark, Time Wipe, everything else, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's pretty cool. Um,. Feeling good about our life choices. Kill my Niv Mizzet, I dare you, I got all this gas. It's kind of like hot farts. If someone don't know who it would be were to send you a list that was interesting to you and looked like something fun to play, would you play it? Probably. Oh, are they are they searching? Are they getting? Are they tutoring? Tutoring. Super Fritz, remember that time you didn't put a Golos in the deck? That's wild, man. <sighs> Why is that on top of my... It should be below down here. Yeah, there we go. Now my head is on top of the chat. B 
Unfortunately, the fighting would mean my wolf dies. And I don't want my wolf to die. Bitty, 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 bitty. Don't play it. It's a trap. It sounds trappy. It sounds pretty trappy. I'm 100% sending you a list. I've gone 11 1 within modern. Oh, dang. Your sacrifice will not be in vain, my friend. How many cards are my graveyard? Four? Okay. Man, we didn't hit a land? That's wild. Oh well. There'll be other wolves. That's what I always say, too. Hashtag always a bigger wolf. What's it gonna be? Did you just whiff on a Narset? That's wild. Uh, destroy this one, destroy this one, nope. And this one. Uh, target a creature, this one. Target a land, your only black source. I mean, our hand is such gas that, like... I guess we're actually going to do this, and we'll just, uh... Wow, I was thinking, like, we could play two lands, but... Uh... You can probably sacrifice if you can't pay the cost. Oh, yeah, you're right. Dang. I guess we'll just end the turn. <laughs> niv, niv, teferi, teferi, gateway plaza that we can't actually cast. Well, that's something, I guess. Are they looking at my cards? They're like, let me count. Look at all these mana costs on top of all the cards. So I don't even know what they're playing. They had like, Fey of Wishes, Narset. I mean, shifting Ceratops seems like a beating. They also had, what's his name, you boy. Agonizing Remorse seems worse than Thought Erasure in this deck, right? Just because of, uh, we can hit them with Narset, or, uh, Niv it rather. Justice Strike can come in. This is not a Deafening Clarion deck. Old Sari Boy. Oh, D Spark actually seems great here as well. I didn't see anything we could hit with Oath of Kaya that we really care about. We'll take both of those out, bring in another Ceratops. That is not a, a keeper, my dude. Okay, that's a little better. Keep six. We will put... I think Godless... No, it's a white source. Um, put Steam Vents back. When is there for you? It's going to be Monday. Monday at like 1 p.m. Eastern time. 1 p.m. Eastern time on Monday. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. 
Brandon, I really don't mind the gateway plaza so far. If you're just playing it on turn two without a without a growth spiral, then I think it's actually fine. I'm gonna pay two here because like if they have Questing Beast, I wanna be able to kill it and not have to like the tempo loss. If they play it, then we go to our turn. We have to kill it on our turn instead of playing. Well, I guess we could put fire, fires, but devil. But I'd, I'd still rather just play fires, ceratops. <laughs> so like spells and abilities can't you cause you to discard or sack permanence. Sure. Hmm. I know. I noted this somewhere. Sweet questing beast. Let's get our value. really want to hit his land, so then we got Niv Mizzet on deck. Niv Mizzet on deck. Boom ba doom boom 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 ba doom boom. Scooby doo 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 ba doo. You got it. Niv Mizzet on deck. Um, play this for free, and then we can cast this guy. Yeah, that seems great. Oh, uh, that seems less great. All right, so I guess we'll take Garrick and escape, right? Yeah, Garrick's gonna kill the creature the same way, um, same way the other one would. Ideally, we'll hit two lands. How many times have we watched The Office? Um, probably about six. So they just had another, had another murderous rider. That seems good. So we're gonna play this for for mana. Hopefully hit two lands, which we did. Enter tapped. Play this for free. Um, if we play Garrick, they can just play Questing Beast and bypass it. So we're uh, we're just gonna play Dream Trawler here. Murder Rider in 2020? In this economy? It's a murder rider. Dream Con is always the win. Dream Trawler is always the win con we need. Favorite character, favorite episode? Um, I don't know. I could be cliche and be like, Dinner Party is my favorite episode. Um, I don't think there is a favorite character on The Office. I think the, I think the, um, the ensemble nature of the show is the best part of it. I think, like, Jim's a great character, but he's not, he's, like, better with Dwight. He's better with Pam, right? I think Daryl might be one of my favorite standalone characters. After this year, I'm about to go dream con in my bed. <laughs> yeah. Typical super fritz. Oh, my turn? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, give me all these lands. I guess we can go Tamio over here. Don't care about the growth spiral. Let's draw a card at least. 
Like, I'm pretty sure we're just going Tamiyo Justice Strike here. Oh, you got it. Oof. That's a good one. No blocks, huh? Next to damage. Like, in similar, like, Angela's great, but, like, Angela's not... Like, Angela's better with Dwight. Angela's better with Andy. You know, like, the interactions on the show are what make the characters great, I think, not the individual characters themselves. Although the individual characters themselves are great. I'm just going to return niv to my hand because that seems like the thing I want to be doing with my life. So long, fires in Growth Spiral. I don't even need you. I don't even need you. <laughs> Who's headlining DreamCon? <laughs> but it's Pretzel Day. Pretzel day? I like pretzel day. Mass manips. That's wild. What are we going to name here? I think we're I think we haven't hit a Tefri in a while. We did get a Euro in the graveyard. Well, I definitely was this creatures of planes order, so you can probably get this, but Like, I don't even want to play more creatures and or planeswalkers because then they just take them with mass manips, right? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. So they can take two things. We're going to hexproof this. So they're just going to take Tamiyo right now. Hmm. We can just time wipe, actually get the Euro back into their hand. And then just replay Dream Trawler. I think that's actually fine. We can go Tulsimir into Garrick, make two wolves, fight, fight, ultimate Garrick. No, that was activated twice, right? Yep. Pass the turn. Is there anything we want to get back from the graveyard? Shifting Ceratops actually seems great. How do we get rid of this again? Hmm. I mean, 
mass pinups is pretty scary. Yeah, that was all. The only thing they can actually take here is Garrick because this is pro blue and this we can give hex proof. So they could take the Garrick, make two wolves, but it doesn't save them. And then we can also Teferi. No, we can't bounce that. <laughs> yeah, we were. This was our mass manipulation protection. Can I do anything about that? No. Kerwa, good luck, buddy. Good luck sleeping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You have two mana left over, so I can just bounce that with Tefri or. Oh, now I can, I guess. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana, so we can Niv Miz it and then still. I mean, they have to take Teferi. It's the only card that stops me from killing you right now, so. Oh, whoop. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Man, just a strike for one, my dude. Well, Tulsmere's only gonna deal with three. We needed it in conjunction with, uh, with your boy. You know, your boy. Okay, let's go to Dex. Um, yeah, I think Thought Erasure's just better. It also helps us find lands, which I think is, is relevant. Um, I do also like a Kenrith. And I guess a Golos. One and one. What do we take out for those guys? I think we could just put the Deafening Clarins on the sideboard. Like, I feel like there's just going to be a lot of matches that you just don't need them. And we already have, actually. We can cut one. And we can probably take out Revoke. We have a lot of things that do that, including, like, Knight of Autumn, uh, Assassin's Trophy, D-Spark. But Devil gets rid of artifacts. Plus, now we have a lot of things to do with our mana, just in case our fires uh, dies.
Um, yeah, this seems keepable. Oh boy. Auto pay. Oh, uh, I think of the fact that you can activate like probably all of Kendra's abilities on one turn in this deck. I think that's good enough, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Now I want the Deafening Clarion. What a fool I've been. Yep, keep lighting up those stages. Oh, I was really hoping for a fires there. Oh, really? We're going to hit one card against the aggressive deck? That's fucking wild, dude. That's wild. I feel like that Golos and that uh, and that Kenrith did it. We, we diluted it too much, boys. I mean, if you want to play, like, three cards to get rid of this guy, like Bone Crusher Giant, Bone Crusher Giant. Yep. I'll take it. One, two, three, four, five. Let me just play Garrick and kill this guy, right? Or make wolves here? Oh, they just can't beat a Garrick, I guess. All right. And now we're bringing in them Clarions. Casualties. Uh. Take out Tamio. She seems pretty bad here. That's uh, free. We can take out one of you. Bring in. Uh, D Spark is probably gonna. It's probably keepable just because they have uh, Ember Cleave. Actually, we might just want. Uh, eh, Knight of Autumn is slow. Like they're gonna play Ember Cleave. Hit with a. I'd rather just have a D Spark ready for it. I think one and one here is fine. Or actually, we can take out the D Spark and put in Justice Strike to deal with it. I mean, Tefra seems Tefra seems pretty bad. I think we're gonna play other Justice Strike and Knight of Autumn. That seems better. We're gonna keep this, hope we hit a red a red mana. Well, that's not a red mana at all. That's aggressive. That's not a red mana at all. Fires, that's fine. That's actually useless for you. That could be a red mana. We still have nothing to play here, though. So, like, we kind of want a four drop here, like a like a deafening clarion would be super nice. Okay. Well. Oh God, are we dead? We're probably just dead here, right? I mean, if we can survive next turn, we get to go Tulsmere Niv Mizzet. Like, that seems insane. But we just have to survive this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. We go to four, and they have one mana up. Okay. Uh, we go to two, and they have one mana up. 
Wow, they're just hitting mono fires off the top. All right, well, that's a thing, I guess. This costs one to boulder rush. And we don't have that. 30, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. Cool. Yep, just a little too slow, even though we boarded in mono two and three drops. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 19 cards. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. Yeah. 19 cards that cost 3 or less. <laughs> Did not draw one of them. A third of our deck. Our opponent didn't even manage to steal them. We just didn't get them. Wow. That's this is the same this is the same hand. Um We're gonna go breeding pool. Yeah, we're definitely keeping it though. Uh, put the water grave back. Into this, into this. Oh wow, no one drop. Oh that's a great that's a great one. This is this is pretty good. Oh, they're not gonna play Bone Crusher Giant. Sure. We're gonna crack this now because we don't want to hit more. Come on, crack it. There we go. Because we just want to hit more lands here. Let's get a forest. I actually thought Kendra was a 4 4. Being a 5 5 is much significantly stronger. Because now they can't double Bone Crusher Giant it. Sure. Let's get a swamp. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. What is this? What is his black glory? Get another white? You're not my dad. I think you're my dad. Alright, I think we can do one more. Oh, look at these rewards. An inspiring veteran. Wow. Yeah, every time we landed a Garrick, they just conceded. What does the fifth ability encounter? The black one? Put our creature from a graveyard on the battlefield under its control. Yeah, that's pretty good. We still have 1, 2, 3, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Nope, that doesn't count. Dang it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 cards that we can hit. Yeah, digging them out of the trash can does seem great. Digging a dream trawler out, uh, shifting ceratops. Any, pretty much any of our creatures coming back is pretty good. For five mana, no less. Like, that's a steal. Especially if you go, like, you have Fires Out, you go Free Spell, Free Spell, five mana, get a guy back. Like, I think Kenrith is definitely... Like, just because you can't hit off Niv Miz, it doesn't mean it's not ex insanely valuable, because you can still use the, the mana abilities during your turn, you know? You know what I'm saying? I think we're I think we can keep this. We need one land. Tedder chromatic. I got stuck in mutual vision, man. You I I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Oh, another fires. That's actually better than a land because sometimes uh you really want uh two fires. Camera's going out of focus. Well, we did hit a land, though. That's pretty good. I wish we had a, a Gross Spiral in hand. I might actually cut it one Tefri for one Euro. Do we have two Tefris or three right now? Because I feel I feel like you definitely want to hit one of these land 
Uh, why does it keep... It keeps auto-focusing, even though I'm, like, literally turning it off, and, like, nothing happened to the stream. It's really wild. Yeah, so you have something to discard your dream trawlers. Check that checks out. Oh, this is a main phase growth spiral. It's a bold strategy. So next time we can go fires Teferi, bounce whatever they play, which is pretty decent. Try to hit a land, play a Niv Mizzet. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we took one Teferi out. This isn't a fight you can win. I'm getting too old for this. I've got it. Well, that's what we wanted. So now we can either play Niv-Mizzet, and if we hit a land, we can Dream Trawler. That's pretty cool. You should ship me Thai food. You've ruined my craving structure. Hey, buddy, I, I would ship myself Thai food if I could. That sounds delicious right now. It's also 4 a.m., and I'm going to be going to Del Taco at like 4.30, which is just miserable for my sleep schedule, that's for sure. Well, now we're definitely playing Niv-Mizzet and seeing if we can find something to kill this Nyssa. Yeah, you got it. Oh, a Golos? Uh, Euro, Tulsimir, Gary. Oh, we didn't hit a land. Oh, that's awkward. I thought we hit a fifth land for some reason. Well, that's rough. Alright, what do we got to discard? Uh, let's get rid of fires here. I guess we're fighting here. Oh, we're not... Mm. Just attack with both and then before blocks fight. Come on. You know what you're doing. There you go. There's the attack first. Before blocks. Get your fight on. I'm pretty sure time wiping here is actually pretty good. We don't have a way to deal with the friggin' Nissa just yet though. God, we really want to land. Casualties of war would be just beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Oh, D Spark is great. Oh wow. Yeah, I guess they can bring back Euro next turn, but we don't really care about that, right? We can go Golos Time Wipe. Is this negative eight? I think we want to give them one more land, right? Um, I don't think it matters. We'll just get a Sacred Foundry, Enter Tapped, and we got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, next turn, next turn we're going to time wipe and then just replay something like Dream Trawler. Golos again. No, we're actually just going to time wipe and then uh, get rid of the Nyssa. Get one... 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe nine mana if they want it. Hopefully they'll play like three creatures or something. I mean, that's pretty good. You get a free land though, so it's less good. Oh wow, you're playing Mono Cavalier of Thorns here. We just get to wipe all of these dudes out of here with the time wipe. That's pretty sweet. Wow. T -t -t today, Junior. Well, we're going to despark Nissa so it exiles her anyway, so they don't get to put him on top with the, uh, the Cavaliers. But, good looking out. Good looking out. We put a Nissa back on top. Oh, that's frustrating. I mean, with two Nisses, they could actually ultimate this and find all their forests, right? It's basic forest? Number forest, if any forest. Okay. Um, so here's an overgrown and a forest and a breeding pool. So. Two cards, a drawing a Nissa. Like, I almost feel like it's better to play a Garrick here. Do I care about them? Like, I guess they go they go activate Nissa, make a million lands, then all their lands are indestructible. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of this Nissa. Where's a haste creature we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. If they had breeding pools, they could actually probably play Euro this turn, but. Yep. Cannot protect itself. And I think we're probably fine being able to go like Garrick into Dream Trawler. Rise, my elemental friend. Sure. <laughs> Just still still casualties of war. Still looking for it. I mean Tulsmere kills another one of their lands, which is pretty sweet. So either way, Tulsmere Dream Trawler or Garrick and Dream Trawler is still just a fine series of plays. Golos, that's what you're taking? Three, four, five, six. Couldn't play it next turn anyway. That's interesting. Three, I guess now we got Garrick online. Hmm. Are you gain three life and that creature fights if the one creature you don't control? Okay, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. Alright, so D-Spark really showing its worth here. With Pelucranos and uh, Nyssa. 
Justice Strike also pretty good. Both of those kill all those things. Well, Justice Strike doesn't kill this, but it does kill a Euro, which is the other card I was thinking of. Um, I kind of like Thought Erasure here. I'm going to take all the Teferis out. I did like that one time wipe though. That was pretty that was pretty wild. Oath of Kaya's kind of mad. It doesn't really kill much here. Yep. Super Fritz, you and I are on the same page, my dude. I know it's the one in because it's just some kinds it can kill a it can kill a what's it called the, any of the lands or it can finish off Anissa. In this format, I almost like D Spark just better than, um, like better than Oath. I, I might even put like one, one more. But then again, like there's mono red too. It's really hard to find the right balance. I don't know if our deck is great for Teferi, though. I think I'd rather just take one Teferi and put a Euro in. Like, it's better it's better at, like, ramping you because you want to be able to play Fires on turn, like, four, but also have five lands. Oh, uh, this is a pretty easy keep here. I think we're, we're going to do it correctly, and we're going to go Fable Passage into Godless Shrine. It doesn't let us cast... It lets us cast this, but not this. Interesting. I know if we draw a if we draw a green though. Yeah, D Spark is great. Presumably named such because it removes most planeswalkers that you care about. Let's get an island. I thought we were on our on, on their turn. But it doesn't really matter. Like it's coming in play untap it's coming in play tapped. Unless they happen to have a two mana land destruction spell and stand in, not really gonna not really gonna sweat it. It's your boy. Uh Thought Erasure, Thought Erasure, Nissa Hydroid Crassus. I mean, so they get to untap. Well, they can't double thought erasure us because of the forest, so that's pretty cool. So they can take one thing. I mean, they they'd probably take Chromatic Lantern, right? I mean, fire seems weird because we only have three lands, right? Yep, alright. They always tay fires. Chocolate rain. Some steak dry while others feel the pain. Wish we had a land that came and play untapped. Super Fritzo. Unbelievable. It's late, okay? It is late, dude. It's probably what time is it for you? It's probably like five AM for you, man. 6 a.m.? Is it 7 a.m. for you? Wow, dude. I can't believe it's 8 a.m. over there. You need to go to bed. I don't know why you talked me into doing this this late. Look at that dummy. See, now we got a game. They're playing nice and slow. You got any lands? I hope two of these are lands. Well, alright, that's fine. Just replacing itself. They got nothing to do? Well, buttery biscuits. 
So if we play this, we can play Gross Fire. I'll still hit a land. So we're, we're... Oh, yeah. Enter tapped. Now we're talking. Now we can do it all. You hit one card. Wow, how lucky. Do we just play this Kenrith or this Niv Mizzet? Jeez. I'm just playing Niv here. Because if we play Kenrith and. Oh, yeah, Dream Trawler. Oh, I guess we're drawing two instead of a significant amount more. God, our hand is like. Absolute hot fire. Our only limitation is our mana. But ain't that always the truth? Still got four mana, I'm still good. I'm golden. Not really. We got a Kakai, we kill this guy. That was pretty rough. I mean, if we can hit land, land, I think we're fine. Like, we definitely want to. Oath of Kaya, this guy. I mean, we can't we can't cast an Oath Trawler for some time, so or Dream Trawler rather, Oath Trawler. Yeah, that's not what we're looking for. We can't Golos. We can Euro, which I think is probably better than Oath of Kaya here, because if we can hit a land. Yep, that's not what we're looking for. Casualties of war hitting two lands, dude. That's brutal. Yep. Okay. So we can bedevil you, we go to seven, and then we can also thought erasure you, which I think is fine. Euro or Pelucranos? Those are your hand? Jesus Christ. Um, I guess we'll probably the Pelucranos put you in the graveyard. If we hit this, we go to ten. Then we go to five. If we hit this, we go to f we go to four. But this guy's off the board. Okay.
Put a Nissa back instead of a casualties? That's interesting. Alright. Here we go. We know every we have perfect information. One, two, three, four. They can't cast these except for six. All right. Yeah, they just win the game if they get casualties back. We will not fail. Yep. Behold, nature's true power. Two, three, four. We have two left over. Oh, man. Yeah, a pollution pollution has cost six. So like they just there's no way to That's not a thing. Hmm. Okay, that's actually pretty solid. Two, three, four, five, six. Then, I mean, they do have the fight. They can still fight with Pelucranos here. But we get to gain five, and that's like their almost their entire turn. Why didn't we gain life there? Oh, you prevented the damage. That makes sense. Time wipe. That's not it. I gotta go to five. One, two, three, four, five. So you're telling me there's a chance. There is no chance whatsoever. Yep, that's gonna be the end. Yeah, if we kept something to give it Hexproof, we wouldn't actually have enough land to gain the 5 life when we'd be dead there. Hmm. Take out the other Earth card. Just bring another Assassin's Trophy, I guess. It just kills everything.
What are you saying right now? Chanal said keep something in hand to give it hexproof. I'm saying you can't. we can't do that because if we kept something in hand, we wouldn't have three mana to gain five life. Actually, Absolution might be decent just to XL of their, their escape cards, but the cost for f the four mana is a little rough. Let's get rid of Thought Erasure. We'll bring an Absolution. Nah. Other Assassin's Trophy. Keep one Thought Erasure. Like paying for it to just get rid of their their Pelucranoses or their um, Euros seems not terrible. Ah, uh, this is a keeper because we do have Growth Spiral. Unfortunately, neither of the breeding pools allows us to cast Bedevil, but Fires does. So Our Euro was in exile. Yeah, we had no cards in hand. But they're not saying we did, they're just saying they wanted us to keep something in hand to give it hexproof. Okay. Sure. That's value. That's some solid value. Next time we can Golos. care about that. Sure to go low, low, lows. One, two, three, four, five. This would be six. Golos would be seven. Let's take action. We definitely want to... Actually, we can get a gateway here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Alright. I mean, short of them having casualties this turn, I guess they go kill, kill, kill. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. <sighs> That's not a casualties at all. Oh, what up, Dennis? I was just about to say good evening and then look at Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty early, my dude. It is pretty early. Let's crack this now. Get a swamp. It be who one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fires, lantern. Uh no attacks. Now we have some fires prevention, so that's pretty cool. Rim, I don't know where Rimworld is. Yep, that seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still have seven. Oh, they killed the Golos because it's a creature. I guess we can't activate it anymore. Okay, that's not bad. Yep, that's pretty good. Um...
Come on, get me. Oh, oh, uh, this one, this one. Oh, no, no, these, these two for sure. Yeah, okay, so we played two spells. Next time we can play the Garrick and the Ethereal Absolution. We have a lot of action, but they also have a ton of things, so they have five cards in hand, plus a euro on the graveyard. <sighs> cool. Cool six mana nonsense. Targeting that. We got one, two, three. Yeah, that seems good. And we have casualties and dream trawler in hand. So we lose the fires. Yeah, that's fine. They have nothing else we care about, and we can just respond. I mean, here's hoping they don't have an... <sighs> Another casualties is what we were going to say. An absolute garbage fire. Okie dokie. Sci-fi colony sim driven by an intelligent AI storyteller inspired by a dwarf fortress firefly and that's interesting. Casualties does nothing here, so we're not going to do that. Okay, that's fine. We wanted to play that now because we only get to play two spells a turn, so I'd rather have a handful of things that I can cast than a gross spiral that I'm just going to have to cycle anyway. They only have three cards. Dream Trawler should be difficult for them to deal with, I would imagine. So long as we keep cards in hand. At least that would be my theory.
Okay, two cards in hand. Not bad. Six cards in the graveyard, though, which means this guy can just come back next turn as well. <sighs> D-Spark pretty bad against Euro. Black sources. One, two. Let's get rid of Overgrown Tomb and Euro, I guess. Uh, destroy a land and a creature. Uh, D Spark does exile, but we can't target a three mana creature. We should have cracked this a few turns ago. To try to just thin our deck just a little bit. I mean, I still have to deal with this. They get to replay this guy, which is fine. Let's see, that we can despark. One, two, three, four, five. They can fight it once, we can discard a card. make them use their mana at least. Got him with the dreamy boy. Dream Trawler is a hell of a card, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I think that's I think that's what we're gonna call it here. It's been about two hours and Super Fritz probably needs to get to bed. I think he might have already fallen asleep. He hasn't said anything for six minutes. Brandon, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the opportunity to play this, dude. I'm, I'm really, I like that we, uh, I like that we got to play this before the new set came out because it's a nice little going away. Plus, the new set's gonna shake things up like crazy, I imagine. But yeah, this is the final list. Um, I think we can cut one Tefri for one more Euro because I think it's really important to get your lands into play. Uh, I also don't think Tefri does much for us because it's cool. He bounces things. He makes the camp. It makes so you guys can't. Your spells can't get countered, but like that's really not a super big concern. But um, yeah, I mean the deck seems sweet. Like, if, as long as you don't face infinite casualties of war, I think you should be fine. Like this is a cool list, and uh, I love Niv Mizzet and Fires of Invention. So, Kenrith was good. Golos was good. Tulsimir is great. Um, the Escape the Wilds is always good when we had it. Yeah, I mean the deck. I think the Bedevil was a nice touch, um, even though I added it. Uh, otherwise, what's the point? But thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash frankapore, patreon.com slash frankapore. If you guys um, are looking for me to critique your own deck, you can email me at frank at frankapore.com or you can uh, see out how to do that in the YouTube description below or my Twitch profile. And uh, check out Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday and manatraders.com. Um, yeah, I will definitely email you the final list, uh, Brandon. Um, and uh, you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with a link and promo code down below. So be sure to use that at manatraders.com. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll put the signboard out for you as well. So that way you guys can screenshot it. And I'll see you later.